Hi Heidi. Hi buddy, how are you today? I'm great. This is a little bit unusual for us today. I usually walk into the wine shop and try to find you and then have you talk about the wine tasting for the week. But today we're sitting on the patio enjoying a great afternoon. It's a perfect patio day. And you're going to share a little bit about the tasting, but then you have a wine lesson for us. Yes. Interesting. I, yes. So uh, this week we're going to be featuring summer raves and faves. So it's some of the wines that we've chosen for uh, summertime that we think are uh, extra spectacular, good price points, and we're really looking forward to that. We'll have two whites and four reds um, because, you know, it's getting a lot warmer now. And so people are beginning to uh, think about white wine a little bit more. Perhaps we'll throw in a rosé. And so that's what we're doing, and we look forward to seeing you. It, uh, it should be a lot of fun. And again, these are, these are wines that, whether you're sitting on the patio with friends, or you're barbecuing, or you're just having a nice evening, um, th these are going to be wonderful wines. So for beginners, uh, it's important to know the difference, really, and the purpose for having a different sized wine glasses. Um, this is a typical white wine glass. You notice know, it's, it's smaller. It's got a smaller opening at the top. Um, and you would serve chilled wine in this, obviously. This one is a larger glass. You get more surface area. You get more air, which helps a wine open up. And you've got a larger mouth on the glass. Now, um, a lot of people get very nervous because we talk about the wines when we pour the wines. And we're telling you you're going to get some notes of citrus or you're going to get a hint of honeysuckle, whatever the characteristics of that wine are. And some people get it and other people struggle a little bit with that. Um, there's a technique that I learned a long time ago. It's called the pernetto. And so what you do is you just put your hand over the top of the glass and that kind of holds all that fragrance and aroma in there and concentrates it when you have the hand over the glass. And then you could put your nose into that glass and it's much more easy to identify those flavors. Um, and again, the red wine uh, it's important not to put too much wine in the glass. Even I notice with a lot of times I'll go into a restaurant and they just put too darn much wine in the glass. You really can't swirl the glass around. It takes the wine a lot longer to open up. So when you're out and uh, or the waiter is pouring wine for you uh, when you've ordered a bottle or um, even at home, just remember you you really don't need to fill that glass up. That you're you know, you have the rest of the bottle, so you take your time with it and let it open up. I often, especially with red wine, like to kind of experience uh, how the wine evolves over time. So right when I open that wine, I'm going to want to try it out, put my hand over, put my nose in, taste the wine, and then I'll go back to it. A lot of times I'm cooking at home, go back to it five, ten minutes later, go back to it five, ten minutes after that, and you can really see the evolution of this wine. It's, uh, it's, it's very interesting. So for people that are just starting out with wine, that is the best way to experience wine and feel more comfortable. A lot of people get nervous about swirling the wine. You can always keep it down on the, on the table and swirl or just swirl it in the glass here. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope these tips were helpful to you and we look forward to seeing you at the wine shop. Have a great day. Wanted to let everybody know that we're going to be doing a series of three cooking classes at the Village Kitchen Shop. The first one is Thursday, July 21st at 6.30 p.m. You can contact the Village Kitchen Shop directly. They're on Glendora Avenue in the city of Glendora. And the first uh, cooking class that we're doing is appetizers. So it's for uh, summertime entertainment. I'll be pouring wines. Uh, the class is $50, and again, you could call them directly and make a reservation, and we'd love to see you there. Um, very limited seating there. I think it's about 22 people is the maximum, so go ahead and make your reservation. I know it's filling up already. Thank you so much, and everyone have a great day.